Since industrial type agriculture, we've lost two thirds of our soil carbon and Australia is no exception. Essentially, we've found cheap fossil fuels and fertiliser gives us more production and at lower cost. But what that does is it leaves the soil in a more oxidative state. It does all sorts of things. Uh, it allow, if we um, uh, plough, um, as soon as it rains, we wash off in one rainstorm perhaps a hundred years worth of soil in terms of how quickly it's uh, generated. So we're losing soil and we're losing the carbon, uh, so soil organic carbon uh, in it by our intensive practices. So we have to change that. We have to s throw away the plough for a start. One of the difficulties for the people who move from intensive agricultural methods to what's commonly called regenerative uh, farming, uh, no-till, precision agriculture, uh, leaving uh, material uh, on the ground, uh, rotational crops, uh, both winter and summer uh, crops, depending on uh, what's uh, appropriate, is that there's no single formula uh, that works, firstly. And then here's the really bad news. Often, when you move from the intensive to, let's just call it regenerative uh, farming, uh, it's actually a few years for the soil to recover and then start to deliver these benefits of better water retention, much lower fertiliser usage, and ultimately higher productivity. The interactions between fungi, between bacteria, between nematodes, uh, between all sorts of creatures, I might add, um, is complex. There are some simple things that we can say that says, OK, take soil that uh, stays in the hand when you pick it up. It doesn't just uh, crumble uh, into sand or isn't so solid you can't get your thumb uh, into it. Uh, you can look at a piece of soil at one level and say, this is pretty good soil. Um, but to actually quantify that scientifically, we've tended to do simple-minded things like saying, all right, what's its ability uh, to uh, hold potassium ions or calcium ions or whatever, and we can go off into the lab and measure that. But actually what also matters is far, far more than that. The balance between, for example, different type of fungi. There are thousands of types of fungi. We talk about... Um, um, some particular fungi as if there's only one species there. There are some fungi that work, that aid, for example, phosphorus solubilization uh, to plants. It's, it's actually the key uh, way. And if you've got more of them, then almost guaranteed you're not going to have to use anywhere near as much uh, super uh, on that particular plot of ground. But you can't just inoculate with that single fungi because they're part of a complex system. This is the most complex area of science and we've hardly scratched it.